music that, isn't it? And that scene, incidentally, I'm told, is Carrick Roads in Falmouth. Hello, very good morning to you. Welcome to TSW. And we start this morning with a trip to Sesame Street. Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. Here's your pencil, Snuffy. Oh, I love the early shift so I can watch Sesame Street. Hello, good morning to you. At 10.53 this morning, we have a short story theatre. Do join us for that. But now it's the human face of Japan. for Christmas on ITV. And I've just been browsing through the double copy of TV Times. That's not all. There are some incredible programmes over the next two weeks. Don't forget to get your copy. But now we celebrate the centenary of the NSPCC with our documentary, Taking the Lid Off. For a perfect Christmas, don't miss your copy of the big double programme issue of TV Times. Copies are on sale now. And coming up after the break, tonight's News at 10. Tog up for Christmas in a TSW sweatshirt in navy blue or grey mull with 3D TSW logo, just 6 95 And for children, Gus Honeybun sweatshirts with 3D Gus motif which squeaks at 4 95 Gus Honeybun Toys, just ten ninety nine plus packaging. For further details, look in your TSW Times. Now over to ITN for tonight's slightly extended news at 10. Now we join Sue Jay and Michael Rod for a brand new series of The Real World. Community health councils represent you, the patient, and your interests to the National Health Service. And to do so properly, need to hear what you think about it. Community health councils can also help you with information and advice about what's available locally. We all deal with hospitals, clinics, doctors, dentists and opticians. There are community health councils throughout the South West. For details, phone Plymouth 662412. Hello again. Well, I was just looking through the TV Times and I see tomorrow night Eric and Ern's guest at 8 o'clock is Alan Wicker. That should be fun in the two of us at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. But now it's time for Danger UXB. <laughs> The Prince and Princess of Wales have arrived in the Isles of Scilly for a private three-day visit. The royal couple landed at St Mary's Airport and were met by Dutch officials before driving to a bungalow where they'll stay. The former RAF airfield at Western Zoyland near Bridgewater, which was last used 30 years ago, may soon see aircraft flying again. A light aircraft manufacturer may establish a pilot training school at the field. Table tennis balls were dropped on a Somerset school today by parachute. It was at Bucklersmead School in Yeovil and involved children from Somerset, Devon and Dorset who were taking part in a scientific experiment. It's to design and manufacture a machine which will launch a ping pong ball into the air for the longest possible time. Mike Bowles of Evershot near Yeovil, piloting a micro light aircraft, took off from the school playing field, 
with ten table tennis balls and parachutes stuffed in his flying jacket. When he released them, they stayed airborne for two minutes. A successful test. Soccer and Carlisle beat Exeter 3-2. Exeter's scorers were Pratt and Delve. In the Bob Law Trophy, Weymouth beat Enfield 2-1. Argyle lost to Millwall 2-1. And Speedway, Weymouth 53, Boston 43. Well, that's the news for this evening. Here's the weather. Tomorrow there'll be more cloud than today, but it'll stay dry. Winds will remain light, mainly northwesterly. Maximum temperatures will be around 15 centigrade, 59 Fahrenheit. Well, due to the extension to the national news, we're running some 14 minutes later than advertised. Here now, though, is a look at the human race. Sesame Street is a production of... The Children's Television Workshop. I didn't know that.